Hello and welcome. Today I thought what we would do is uh, do some planting and I've managed to get some seeds from some herbs uh, from our garden and I've dried some of the seeds or they've naturally dried uh, from coriander over here and I've also got some basil um, seeds. What else you're going to need for this uh, project today? A pair of scissors, an egg container or two. I'm using a uh, waterproof container which happens to be an old desk and some compost so you have also got here some um, watering fluid inside of this I've got some pellets that I've just taken some from the garden bag of pellets so sheep pellets etc just for some nutrients so what we're going to do is we're going to plant some seeds so you'll cut your egg container open so just open that up the reason we're using egg containers is because later on when we transplant them into the garden, the actual egg container itself will break down and we don't need to worry about doing a transplant from the egg container. So here's some that I prepared earlier and I'm just going to scoop up some of the um, lovely compost that we've got. Now this is just standard compost, it doesn't have to be special. Shake it off. There's the reason why I'm using a um, sealed container or a waterproof container so that none of it um, is going to spill out. You'll also notice that I've left this tab here. Now the reason I'm going to do that is so that later on I can write down what I planted inside of here. With my finger, well first of all I'll just pop this down on the grass. With my finger what I'm going to do now is just poke a hole into the center of each of the egg containers segments. Now if you've got any big bits of compost just flick them out because you only want real small pieces. Now with our coriander what I'm going to do is each seed will grow into a plant. So I'm going to put one seed in each of the sections. If you um, want to you can put um, two. Don't put too many though because if you do they'll crowd around. Okay. Then all I need to do is gently cover those up. Give it a tap just to even it out. Tab them down. Oh, buddy's barking at something. That's Thank okay. You. And now I'm going to water them. Just need a little bit of water, and that water will be enough to activate seeds. Even Buddy's excited about growing plants today. Now I'm going to leave that in a sunny spot. If you're going to put it on the windowsill make sure that you've got something underneath it so that it doesn't um, stain the windowsill or make the windowsill go rotten. So what you could do is put it into a plastic container or a meat tray. You could cut this in half and use a plastic meat tray that sits in the container because you want to have at least six hours of sunlight for the day. All right, so there you go. There's something else that you can do while uh, you're not at school and you can um, grow some beautiful uh, herbs or whatever you'd like to grow. Thanks very much.